time when I'm looking for inspiration for my songs, a lot of times I'll look at what's going on um, on social media or just pull from my own experiences. And then there are times where the inspiration just falls out of the sky, just falls into my lap. I don't have to do any work for it. Those make the best songs when the inspiration just hits me out of nowhere. <laughs> I, don't, um, I don't write my songs to instrumentals because oddly enough, when, I, when I'm hearing a melody in my head, I'm also seeing color. And I don't want an instrumental to overshadow that or to keep the lyrics and the melody from taking on a life of its own. So what usually happens is out of nowhere, I'll hear the melody and then the lyrics will just fall into my lap, so to speak. <laughs> and and what, as I'm writing them down and I'm listening to, to the melody and the lyrics and how they're flowing together, then I start to see color. Like just, I start to see like it gets its own personality through whatever color I'm seeing that it takes the energy. So if I already have an instrumental, then it kind of dulls the color. <laughs> like the song, it, it has to take on its own story before I get it over to a producer to put music to. After I have my melody together, I am clear on the energy, AKA color. <laughs> I record a acapella demo. It's just me, no music. I record it how I'm hearing it in my head. And after I finish recording the demo, then I'll make a video. And in the video, I explain to him what I'm seeing, what I'm feeling, how, you know, how I think this song should go. And once that's done, I get everything over to him. And I also give him, you know, the space to bring in his own creative inspiration, work within his own creative juices. <laughs> so that um, he can make sure that the, the, how can I put that? The story that's being told from the lyrics and the melody, he makes sure that the instrumental then complements that story. It's amazing. <laughs> I enjoy writing that way. Now, I, if I'm doing a collaboration, I have done collaborations uh, with DJ producers where they'll send something over and I write to it. But in those moments, I'm sort of like closing myself in because I then have to make what I'm writing fit their story. So the other way around, I send all of my stuff to my producer and he makes the music fit my story. Oh yeah. Ha <laughs> ha.